Today, we will explore the idea if we really need to drink 8 glasses of water a day. To begin, let's start with some facts about water. Water, we know, is essential for life. Without it, humans are only able to survive for days. The body is composed of 60% water and water is needed for major body processes to occur. Naturally, when you're low on fluids, the brain triggers the body's thirst mechanism, prompting you to restore lost fluids. It's easy to understand water is a necessary component to our diet. But exactly how much water should we be consuming? Well, the popular belief is for a healthy lifestyle we should drink 8 glasses of water every single day. But where did this conclusion come from? It is generally believed this idea came from a recommendation made by the 1945 Food and Nutrition Board which stated that a suitable allowance of water for adults is 2.5 liters daily in most instances. However, a key sentence that was ignored after that was that most of this quantity is contained in prepared foods. Water is not only a source of hydration. What we eat provides a significant portion of fluid needs. On average, food provides about 20% of total water intake and many fruits and vegetables are composed of mostly water. In a study done by Bradley Wall, the author presented findings on the effects of rehydration or no rehydration during cycling. A group of cyclists were exercised until they had lost 3% of their total body weight in sweat. Performance after rehydration was then tested under three different scenarios, no rehydration, partial rehydration, and full rehydration. The cyclists in this experiment did not know the volume of water received since fluid was injected intravenously, meaning through the veins. No performance difference between those fully rehydrated and those that got nothing. This supports the notion of drink to thirst, which tries to persuade athletes not to overhydrate their bodies. Further, a more recent study done by Dr. Michael Farrell provides evidence that a swallowing inhibition factor is what allows the volume of water drunk in response to thirst match the fluid lost. The researching team asked the volunteers to rate the amount of effort required in order to swallow water in two situations, once after exercise and the second time when they were asked to overdrink water. Effort ratings provided support for swallowing inhibition with threefold increase in effort after over drinking. The researching team then used MRI scans to look at brain activity just before the point of swallowing and found the right prefrontal areas of the brain were much more active when people were trying to swallow with a lot of effort, suggesting these areas are trying to overcome the swallowing inhibition. Therefore, findings were consistent with the presence of a swallowing inhibition factor after excess water has been drunk and the authors concluded that this is an important mechanism in overall regulation of fluid intake in humans. There are many factors that influence our need to consume water. This includes exercise when we are engaging in activity that makes us sweat or when we are in a hot or humid environment. Our bodies are also losing fluid through sweat and we need to drink the extra water. Finally. Illnesses such as fever, vomiting, or diarrhea cause the body to lose additional fluids, again requiring more water consumption. To conclude, water has many known positive effects on the body. It helps to control calories by substituting water for higher caloric drinks. It helps to energize muscles and water helps to keep the skin looking good. However, there is no scientific proof that for otherwise healthy people, drinking extra water has any extra benefits. Therefore, water is definitely a necessary component to one's diet, but the need to consume 8 glasses of water a day is not supported by scientific evidence. Instead, we should simply stay hydrated by drinking water whenever our bodies naturally activate the innate thirst mechanism due to the activities that the environment we are a product of. Thank you for listening to this video and please make sure to subscribe to our demystifying YouTube channel.